Auto burglaries are down roughly 23% in Jacksonville from this time last year. That's good news, and that's according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office spokesperson. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy joins us live this morning, and this is part of a long-term initiative the Sheriff's Office is making to help prevent auto burglaries. Jennifer. <laughs> That's exactly right. A lot of times if a car is broken into overnight, it's because people left their windows down overnight or they left their car doors unlocked. But that is why a lot of law enforcement agencies here in Northeast Florida are really pushing this social media campaign, urging people to get in the habit of checking to make sure their doors are locked at nine o'clock every night. Earlier this week, JSO says nearly a dozen cars in the Sutton Lake subdivision of Sandalwood were broken into. Windows shattered and items stolen from inside the cars. Surveillance video shows two people trying to open car doors outside one home, but they couldn't get in. Despite the recent break-ins, the sheriff's office says the number of auto burglaries is down more than 20% from this time last year. And they are encouraging residents to continue taking steps to keep their valuables safe. They recommend the TLC approach. Take out valuables, lock your vehicle, and close your windows. It is also a good idea to park in a well-lit area where your car is visible to others. The sheriff's office reminds drivers not to leave a firearm in the car and also avoid transferring valuables to your trunk where someone may see you. Again, to help the number of car break-ins go down here in Jacksonville, they are really enforcing people get in that habit. Nine o'clock at night, make sure you go out to your cars, make sure the windows are up and your car doors are locked. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.